I'm from Turf Village and it was 1975. There wasn't an awful lot of money about. You knew there wasn't an awful lot of money about. The word poor wasn't mentioned, but you knew that you hadn't got a lot. Anyway, I was just in from the school, going down the stairs, and all I could hear was, Jared, there's somebody at the door. So I ran out the door, and there was a mate of mine standing at the gate, and there was this brand new rally Tomahawk bike, gold in colour. And he was throwing his leg over the bike, and just as that, when you're 11 or 12, the first thing out of your mouth is, give us a go. And he says, no, he says, my dad says, nobody's allowed on this bike. So away he went, and I'm looking down the street after him, paddling away. Little did I know that my eldest brother had been watching the whole thing from the kitchen window. He was sort of like the father figure at the time. And my brother came into the room, and he says to me, come on in, come on in, do you see? So I went into his room, and I remember him putting his hand under the, under the bed, pulling out this tin, and he put it on his bed, and there in this tin was all this £10 notes, £5 notes, £1 notes, 50 p's, and he started to count it all out in front of me. He says, come on, we're going into the town to do a wee message. Now, there was a place in the town called Smithfield. You could buy anything from a nail to a record player. So we went into the shop, and he turns around and he says to me, have a look at that. And all these rally tomahawk bikes on the right-hand side, all these rally choppers on the other side. So we're standing there, and he says to me, if you had a choice about any one of those bikes, he says, what one would you take? And I just remember scanning them all down. There was every colour imaginable, and I pointed to this blue rally chopper bike. The rally chopper was the bike to have. And the next thing he turned around and says to me, I'm going to buy that blue one for you today. And I remember thinking, God, he's the best brother in the world. So I get the bike onto the bus, up to the turf road, terminus roundabout. And as soon as the bus stops, I'm away out, down into, past my house, down into the cul-de-sac, stop right outside my mate's house, the one that had the rally tomahawk, and I bounced in through the gate. As soon as I wrapped the door, I run back out to get to the bike again. I didn't want to leave it for two seconds. And he comes out, and he says to me, where did you get that? I says, my brother bought it today for me. And he said to me, the same words as I said to him, give us a go. And I says, no, I says, my, my brother says I'm not allowed to get anybody else on this bike. He didn't just buy me a bike, he actually gave me everything he had. <laughs>